And I got a state of Malibu. Okay, and two acres. Yes, yeah, oh, two acres. Oh, I would like to see the paperwork. Okay, we can show you the paperwork. <laughs> go ahead and show, show me the title. To, we got to show a paperwork to somebody who's got no paperwork. That would make no sense. Show me, <laughs> show me a pull up that deed. Can he pull up the deed? Can you pull up the deed? You don't even know what a deed is. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mike Ray and I'm back at it again with another video. If you can, hit that like and that subscribe button for your boy, you know, I'll be coming on the channel. In today's video, I will be breaking down the fake lifestyles of two broke YouTubers, Mr. Organic and Stunner Reese. I gotta say this, Mr. Organic done showed us how he was at the top and how he hit rock bottom and you got Stunner Reese falling along with him, somebody who was around CJ on 32s, somebody who reached success, should I say, and now you downplay yourself by hanging around Mr. Organic. So let me break it down with well, what I see from the outside looking in as far as the blind leading the blind. It's no different than somebody needing some help trying to help somebody that's not sure what to do. And that looks like what's going on over there when they try to build their content. So sit back, let me break it down. It can be challenging when a friend's financial situation changes and it's natural to feel uncertain about how to navigate with the relationship. And you can see that with CJ getting Richard and Stunner Reese, how you got the following around Mr. Organic and all this and that now. You can see that everything that Stunner Reese been through in his past with CJ on 32 didn't work for him to go down and play his situation with Mr. Organic. It's no different than Misery Loves Company. I feel like they share their little sad stories together to collab on some content to give you some bullshit videos. I ain't gonna lie, I know the stuff that I say hit home and it be facts. If the people don't follow me or get mad for me speaking the truth, Stunner Reese obviously knew the truth of what I be saying in my videos. That kind of made him mad and unfollow me, but I ain't gonna do nothing but keep telling the truth, you know what I mean? You becoming Mr. Organic Flanky, his yes man. I don't know what's worse, Mr. Organic using Tall Guy for bailout videos, or you using him for bailout videos when you could've went to CJ for some motion. Man, you tell me where this is going. But the fake lifestyle of being like Mr. Organic or whatever, you already know how that shit go. How he brag about everything that he don't own type shit. He own the estate. Look at the beginning of the video. He still having without that estate. I mean that D. But thanks to me, when I first exposed that nigga by accident, showing the crib, the whole world knew that he didn't own the house. So the lifestyle be fake. But let me break it down as far as Mr. Organic was. The king of downtown, that shit played out. You know what I mean? The formula about how you go wrap your cars and all that. We know your money low when you stop, do you stop, you know what I mean? Participating in those activities, wrapping your car, tire stickers, tinting the windows, all that extra stuff, you know what I mean? All that's out the window so we know the financial part ain't where it used to be, you know what I mean? And you think Stunner Reese gonna learn something from Mr. Organic? Mr. Organic ain't gonna do nothing but show Stunner Reese not how to pay his bills and his lease. How to break the lease, if anything. So, let's see how Stunner Reese treat his leases when he in Miami, those Airbnbs, whatever he renting out. But this is the fake lifestyle. And let me, deep in, let me dig deep into it like this. I feel like they only act rich because they don't have nobody to impress. Living fake rich often involves taking on significant debt to maintain a certain lifestyle. But Mr. Organic, you can tell the debt that he put himself in from the lawsuits, from the cribs he was trying to rent out or whatever, the cars he was leasing. Let's not forget about the overspending. Fake rich people like Mr. Organic often overspend on luxury items and services beyond their means. No more colored beers, no more Forgiatos, no more car wraps. No more mansions, no more leasing a lot of cars at once. The overspending done got to this man. And you think Stunner Reese gonna learn something from this guy besides learning how to work out or whatever? If he wanna learn how to work out, he better off kicking it with Cali Muscle. But the mentorship that Mr. Organic is selling ain't gonna get you nowhere. You're overspending if you buying that mentorship. Stunner Reese failed to realize that you can't follow somebody like Mr. Organic who have a lack of savings and investing. It's the same guy that said believe in yourself like you believe in God and you want to talk about investing. He the last person I want to hear advice from as investing. Where's crypto dollar when you need him? You know what I mean? All the people that he was trying to promote for you to invest in, now they going out the window. That man done deleted his old Instagram account because he know he done got over Mr. Organic audience and Mr. Organic got over as well. And Stunner Reese want to think people going to take him serious or he going to be trustworthy. It looks like more of a misery loves company thing. Both of y'all careers not going nowhere, so y'all team up to give out bullshit content. With Stunner Reese and Mr. Organic, you can tell that both of them had this in common, the inability to cope with financial setbacks. Stunner Reese done went from C8 to all them bum ass cars, and Mr. Organic done went from all the luxury cars to just driving one Astrid Martin that he got co-signed for somebody else. You can't tell me that the setbacks that they had with their financial issues showed it like it, it set them back. They went downhill after that. 
That come from a lack of savings, not investing right or whatever. Stunner Reese is going downhill just as much as Mr. Organic is. One thing with Stunner Reese, he has the ability to maintain appearances. Living beyond your financial means requires significant energy, effort, and money to maintain those appearances. And you can tell with him, his appearance is going down. It's like over the time, he may struggle to keep up with his lifestyle, leading to a loss of social status and self-esteem. We see that all in his videos. All they're doing is exposing themselves to the point where they presume that they don't have as much money as they're trying to show that they have on camera. It's like they can purchase expensive items and services that they can't afford. They may take on a debt to maintain the image or wealth or whatever. This image can be cultivated through social media or other platforms. And just watching them through YouTube, you can tell that they don't live this type of lifestyle. And you gotta ask yourself, why Stunner Reese following after Mr. Organic? And Mr. Organic is not the way, he, look what he did to Tar Guy, he done tarnished his career, man. Stunner Reese, stop living above your knees, man, hanging around that guy, stop trying to flaunt your wealth, stop trying to carry, you, you carrying high depths, you know what I mean, being around him. You have the lack of financial literacy listening to that, man. <laughs> but I ain't gonna hold y'all, man. It's your boy, Mike Ray. I'm finna get up out of here. Appreciate everybody watching this video. It's more stuff I could've touched on, but Mr. Organic done lost it all with the fake lifestyle. Acting like he was rich as fuck. Son of Reese looking like a lame, a flunky following this boy, man. Ain't gonna get up nowhere. I was better off seeing Stunner Reach Link with Tar Guy. Fuck that. Just go home back to Stunner, I mean to CJ on 32, Stunner Reach. Cause that image that you got around Mr. Organic ain't gonna help you at all. Not even a bag. I'ma see you on the next one.